Welcome to Tofurious Toys. Thank you for joining me for this review of the Build a Horse Wave Batman figure from the DC Multiverse line by McFarland Toys. Here we can see a Batman figure modeled after the art from the Dark Knight Returns comic book series. Here on the left we can see the character name, the DC Multiverse logo, and a McFarland Toys logo. On the right we can see it is from the Batman the Dark Knight Returns saga. From the top we can see the top of the figure, not very clearly. On the bottom we can see all of the standard legal disclaimers, the barcode, and the part number. For the DC Multiverse line, all of the character information is on the collectible trading card inside the package. So on the back he's just got a completed image of the Build-A-Horse, and below that is the other figures in the line. Alright, let's uh, return this Dark Knight to freedom. Here is the front of the included collector card. Here is the back. Pause it if you'd like to read it. Here we have the front legs for the build a horse. We will get more into that in a later video. Here is the tail for the build a horse. It reminds me of Goro's ponytail. Here we have the bat lasso. That's probably not what it's called, but Considering the nature of the Build-A-Horse, that's what I'm going to call it. Included are a second set of hands, uh, closed fists. Look at that square jaw. You'd break every bone in your hand if you tried to punch that jaw. Look at those muscles. This guy's a thick boy. Thunder thighs. I love the sculpt work on this. I, I love the folds in the fabric of his pants there. Not much going on back here, but I, I love the detail of the cape. This is gorgeous. I, uh, I'm digging this a lot. Alright, on to articulation. He can look up that far, looks down that far. He's got the full 360 at the neck. Here at the shoulder, we got that pseudo butterfly joint. The cape kind of gets in the way, but the arm can move forward and back quite a ways. He's got full 360 at the shoulder, no bicep cut, elbow has a 90 degree bend. The wrist is that same ball joint, but this figure is thick enough to where it doesn't completely stand out. He has some rotation at the diaphragm. It doesn't go forward or back very far at the diaphragm. It seems like it wants to, but it doesn't really move that much. There is an upper thigh cut and a little bit of inward and outward motion where the hip meets the thigh. There is double joints at the knee, but it doesn't seem to fold in very much. There is some toe articulation. He's got that same ball joint at the ankle that requires some finagling to be straight. There is a forward facing pin that allows some ankle rocker articulation. Let's get him stood up, measured, and compared to some other figures. Getting the ruler back here, we see that he stands at just under 7 inches, 6 inches and 15 sixteenths of an inch. That seems short for a 7 inch scale figure. This hat does not go to this figure, but considering I'm going to put him on a horse later, uh, I want him to have a cowboy hat. It's my toy, I can do what I want. First up is the Last Night on Earth Batman, followed by the Mezco Toys 112 Collective Batfleck. Then we have the DC Collectibles Deceased Hal Jordan, followed by Michelangelo from Super 7. Here is the supposed 112 scale 30 Mark 42 Iron Man. Mikey takes off so that this NECA shredder can square off against the Batman. Here we have the Raphael as Frankenstein's monster from NECA Toys. Trading one baddie for another, we got Skeletor and Play of Shredder there. Here is the Mythic Legion's Kauros by the Four Horsemen, followed by another offering from the Four Horsemen. Here is Keltus from the Mythic Legion's toy line. Rounding out the Skeletor Fest, we have the Skeletor from the Masterverse line by Mattel. Ending the comparisons, we have a Hal Jordan from NECA Toys. They absolutely nailed everything about this figure. I love all the wrinkles in his costume. 
I had mentioned in the other videos from this wave that I've made so far that I wish that I had located my Mattel multiverse figures to compare these two. I feel like if I were forced to pick a favorite, this one would win hands down. We can quickly size up the rest of Batman here in the 360 rotation. I am loving these collector's cards. I am finding myself wishing that they were packaged in with other figures that he has released from other properties. I want a collector's card with Fezzik on it from uh, the Princess Bride. I still need to review the Superman figure from this wave and after that I will create a video showing the assembly of the horse and its articulation points. So far from this wave, this is my favorite figure. There it is guys, this has been my review of the Build-A-Horse Wave Dark Knight Returns Batman figure from the DC Multiverse line by McFarlane Toys. I am very appreciative of your time if you have stuck with me this far. If you like what you have seen, please punch that thumbs up icon in the face. If you didn't care for it, please throw some constructive criticism my way. Thank you for joining me here at Tofurious Toys.